What's going on everybody, Akta Shikawa here, and welcome back to the Retro Showcase, and today we're going to be playing Poker Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Now, this is the second Retro Showcase out of four, where it's all going to be Pokemon themed, because it's Pokemon month obviously, and uh, this is a game that I have not played in a long time. Uh, this was a game from my childhood, I loved this game. Uh, I have the sequel as well, which I don't think I'll be playing this month, but... I decided to play the original game because this is a game that's near and dear to my heart. Um, in terms of facts for today, there aren't, there aren't really many I could find online. I, the Wikipedia doesn't have any sales numbers that I can find. Like The only thing I can really say about it is that it's, I think, quite a mixed reviewed game. Like Some people really enjoyed it, some people didn't. The one thing about this game though is it's really easy, but I think the thing with this game is it's meant to kind of be relaxing. And if you see your profile here, that was a profile that I had a long time ago. So we're gonna start a new, uh, a new adventure. I can't actually pick the same photo twice, so uh, we're gonna go with uh, another one. Let's do... I the one with Pikachu balancing the, uh, I think that's a berry on his head. So yeah, new game created. Let's begin. Uh, play in Poker Park. So the whole thing with this game is... ah, The whole thing with this game is basically you... You basically have to save the Poker Park from like various happenings, from like various Pokemon. Like the like, the evolutions of Pokemon are uh, basically kind of controlling. Like they're the owners of their own respective attractions in the park, and for whatever reason they're kind of messed up. So you have to save them from that basically. And this is me, I think, teleporting you to the actual location. Or Squirtle was an idiot and just kind of <laughs> pushed you in. But they're all like, yeah, we'll go in anyway. Whee! And yeah, this is... This is where Poker Park starts. Pikachu doesn't seem too concerned about what's going on. So yeah, the one thing that this... Um, people said about this game was that it was really kind of repetitive. Um, but like, yeah, it's, it's very easy. It's a very easy game. It's more to just relax, I think. Pikachu, that's your name? That's a good name. My name is Mew. It's not a name, it's the... It's because the species of Pokemon that you are. I need your help. The Sky Prism, which protects the Poker Park, has shattered. And the pieces have fallen all over the Poker Park. If the Sky Prism's power is lost, the Sky Pavilion could fall. So it's basically like Angel Island, I think, from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So yeah, it could fall from the sky and essentially destroy the Poker Park, basically. I'd like you to, yeah, basically, those are the, the prism shards, or, yeah, the sky prism pieces, um, and we have to find all of them, and essentially restore the sky prism. Special Pokemon in the Pokemon currently have these pieces. I'll wait for you in the sky pavilion. Please help. So I think it should take us to a tutorial stage, but essentially, we, we know what we're going to do now. We need to recover the pieces, essentially. But I think this game actually looks really good, because I think it's released in 2010, I think? Don't quote me, though. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Chatot, that's the one. I just know him from, um, Pokemon Rangers. Not Pokemon Rangers, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Say what? Me? I'm Chatot. I'm the Poker Park Guide. Talk to me whenever you have questions about the Poker Park. You're looking for your friends? Charmander, Piplop, and Chikorita. That's the one I keep forgetting the name of. Because I don't think... I think she must have been new when this game came out. Now I wonder. You may find them in the Poker Park. I'll take you there. Follow me. So... Essentially, holding around horizontally, move with that. Yep. And yeah, we're in the game. Okay, we, we can run. Oh, the camera. Okay, there we go. That's how to jump. Once to dash. Yeah, I can't, I can't jump and dash at the same time. But I assume, yeah, this is how you, um... It's basically teaching you how to how to play the game. Um, so basically... I'm gonna get through the tutorial. Quickly. I'll do it as quickly as I can. But, so we, so we can actually get into the main gameplay. But the main, the main thing is... Uh, there's loads of, kind of, attractions in the park. And you can essentially... You can race them to earn... You can, you can, or you can... I say race them. Race is just one of the, the games you can do. Um, but there's loads of different attractions and mini games you can play, and uh, essentially, you can compete in these. And if you win, you earn berries. Uh, depending on what time you get, I think you can get certain Pokemon 
if you like if you just clear them i think just in general i think you can get a certain pokemon as well like you can basically the whole thing is you don't capture pokemon in this game you you become their friend it's very you know very very child friendly like if i had a kid i would basically just give them this game and go go crazy you know like it's it's one of those games the most popular skill game is called chase i'll show you how to play Chase is a skill game in which you have a limited amount of time to tag the other Pokemon. So it's basically it's basically tag. You only have to you only have to tag them once, basically. So yeah, this is the tutorial. And yeah, 60 seconds, and basically you just spam dash and you get them. I mean, depending on the um, depending on the Pokemon that you catch, they do just get sent flying. You are full of energy, aren't you? Alright, pass the test. You can play Chase, no problem. Have some berries. When you win a skill game, two think good things will happen. But first, you'll make a friend. If you win a skill game, the other Pokemon will become your friend. Yes. Making a new friend is a wonderful thing. Yes. And then we continue. The second good thing is berries, like I gave you. When you win a skill game, you receive berries. That's basically what I was trying to say. I think it's it's the... You can win the skill games, and you can win the like attraction games to win berries and stuff. Ah, I can't remember your name. Bunnery. Are you on the way to the Pokemon too? The Pokemon is a wonderful place. You can make lots of friends there and many attractions. This is basically very, very kid friendly. I do like these kind of games. Just because they're I just find them really relaxing. Is that weird? I don't think it's like too weird to find a game like this. We there's no real kind of enemies to speak of. Apart from maybe Snorlax <laughs> at this point. Uh, when a po Pokemon wants to tell you something, you'll see a bubble above that Pokemon's head. Well, Let's see. What could be the situation? Snorlax is in the way and I can't get to the Pokebug. I mean, you can climb over him. Uh, use Thunderbolt. Press and release A to use Thunderbolt. Make sure to face your opponent and press B to face a nearby Pokemon. Okay. So, A. Yep. Did that wake him up? Yep, it woke him up. If only it was this easy in the actual Pokemon games. He's huge. He is a monster of a Pokemon. And he just fell right back asleep. Ah. Now I can go play in the Poke Park. See you there. See, I don't think... He... I'll make my way to the Poke Park very slowly. Yeah, I don't think you can talk to Snorlax right now. Because he's very just... I think we'll just leave him be. Alright, so this is the way to the Pokebok. If you have to get through one more kind of tutorial from Chatot, uh, I have something to give you. The Pokebok pad. Now it's got a Pokebok pad. As you make friends, their names will appear in the Pokebok pad. You know the best thing about the Pokebok pad than anything? It's making so many friends. I was about to say, I bet he says friends. Keep in mind, I haven't played this game in a good couple of years. Um, I played this with Carry Potter, and uh, he didn't like this game. But uh, Iper, I just personally like it. It relaxes me. Whenever I'm feeling stressed, I feel like I could, I could just come back to this game. Yay! We made a friend. And, oh. Were you paying attention? Try oh, I need to open the thing first. Okay. Uh, friend list. Yep, so that's... That's one. And it's 193. <laughs> Good lord. You can sort them into... I don't know what you'd sort them into. I guess order that you've met them in? I'm not sure. Do you see my name in there? Yep. When you're, never when you're talking to a Pokemon, if a picture of the Pokemon pad shows by the Pokemon's name, that Pokemon is already your friend. That, there's a lot of Pokies in this. When you become best friends, a picture of the pad will have rainbow colours. See you later, I'll be in the Pokemon Park. You can talk to me whenever you want to know something. Well then. This is the Pokemon Park now. Go near a signboard and press here to read it. Okay, it's really since it's so kid friendly, it really hold it really holds your hand, like especially throughout the beginning parts. But we should be able to do a um, a fair amount in this video before the before the game ends. I'll leave a I'll I mean I'll I'll let a time scram uh, timestamp in the video and in the description if you just want to get straight to the poker park. And here we go. This is the poker park, or at least the first area of the poker park. Because there's, I can't remember how many areas there are, but there's a lot of areas. The game's actually quite, you know, extensive. And quite large for a game like this. 
mean, it probably shouldn't be as large as it is. Oh, it's Chikorita. Aw. Oh. You're safe. Chum and Pippa and I followed you down the mysterious tunnel. We all got separated as we fell. They called us face of Poker Park. Yeah, this is the meadow zone. So, yeah, the whole thing is obviously greenery. And I assume it's, um... Like, it has loads of grass-type Pokemons in this area. You can't miss the attractions. If you talk to the Pokemon by the attraction sign, what do you can play? I found Chikorita. And I assume we're already, like, best buds. So... Let's... Okay, so where to now? I guess we just keep going. Well, there's uh, Chitar. I just thought the bun race thing. I'm sure of it. Okay, we can't become friends with it yet. Whoops. Sorry. Hello. Is this your first time on the Benno Zone? Don't you think it's lovely and quiet? Is it too peaceful for you? Oh, okay, so I can't actually make friends yet. I have to go up and... Whoops. I have to talk to Ivysaur. Oh, no, that's Bulbasaur. Or is that? No, it's Ivysaur, isn't it? Oh, it's Bulbasaur. I'm afraid you can't. There are rules in the Benno Zone, you know. You can't just play the attractions, you can't get other zones. Let me think, maybe you could play in secret? Okay. Oh yeah, Venusaur's the zone keeper. So basically... Basically, uh... Venusaur... There's something... There's something up with Venusaur, basically, and you have to kind of find out what's up. I think in order to get to the... To get to the next area, uh, you need to become friends with the... The zone kind of leaders, basically. I won't charge for a while, though. You're the first customer in ages. Do you want to play the... Yes. So we can actually, you know, show you guys what kind of this game's about. So yeah, basically, yeah, it's a so it's basically like a mini game from Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, where you just you just shake the Wii remotes to run. The more you shake, the faster you will go. And yeah, you can have there's a bunch of characters you can you can choose from. Uh, but yeah, right now we're gonna like, Pikachu is the only Pokemon we can we can play. So yeah, this is the well, this is the. The the starting game. Ah, uh, ah, oh, slowpoke still this. Someone slowpoke to this, and it's really funny. Okay, here we go. Yep. Shake it as fast as we can. That was very quick. Ugh. Smash the goal and the bonus time. Attraction cleared. Easy as that. Perfect. Hundred berries. And a new record. Awesome. I feel like I could get a better time if I like, really wanted to. But I'm kind of going easy for this one. I think I can maybe get like maybe, I don't know. Maybe a little bit fast. Maybe like just under six seconds. You did it this time and I have a tip for you. The friends you make through the skill games can play attractions. And when a friend of yours clears the attraction, it counts for you. There also if your friend clears it, you've cleared it. That's because you're friends. This is for you. Okay, that doesn't really make much sense. Oh, and we, we got a prison piece. Bulbasaur just had it. It fell from the sky and I was watching the attraction. You spoke to me in a dream. Yeah, we already... <laughs> oh, you have to do it to have a clear to the attraction. So you're going to just give it to any old Pokemon who could have done some really bad things with it. You didn't find the attraction? Oh, boy. It's like his hench... I think this is like Venusaur's henchman. And now I have to take the Venusaur. Uh-oh. Oh, he like... Oh, no. Chikorita's basically just been kidnapped. No, my friend. Ah, Save Chikorita. Well, so now we need to see Venusaur. Which could be difficult. But, uh... Oh, man. I mean, I don't know if... Can we even see him yet? I don't think we can. No, we can't. We have to get across the bridge first. Wait, he's blocking it. I don't you weren't supposed to. You even cleared it. That was really naughty. She's a Venusaur. She's on the other side of this bridge. You want to cross it? Let me think. If Turbix used the bonus in Bulbasaur's Daring Dash, I'll let you cross. You said so, I don't think that's possible. Okay, so we have to make friends with specific Pokemon, and then once we do that, we can, uh... We can cross that bridge. Ah, logs. I swear we can do something with these. But I can't remember what. Well, I'll drop, it for, I'll drop it for now. But yeah, there's a bunch of side quests you can do in this game, essentially. More wood. And box number three. More wood. No berries. I swear, like, you can, you can bonk into some trees, and then you can, um... Uh, you can get, like, berries from them and stuff. So yeah, we basically just have to explore. 
and uh, basically just find a bunch of other people. Yeah, here's Turtwig, all the way back at the beginning. Uh, yep, in your own time. You are to participate in Bolster Track? No way. To help your friend? Well, okay. If, if you play Chase and you catch me, then I'll play the attraction. I'll beg because then I'll be your friend. Every the thing is, everyone wants to be your friend in this, apart from, like, the boss Pokemon. He is also very slow. And how long will it take? Three seconds? Three seconds! That was very easy. Also, he just got sent flying. Okay. You blew me away. I feel like I'm still flying through the air. Others will talk about how fun this place is if they hear of our games. Alright. I'm a friend now. Another thing. I can play Bustle's Daring Dash for you. Have some berries at the token of our friendship. Aww. Alright, so we've made two friends. Ah, Yeah, so essentially at some points in the in the game, like, different Pokemon will just come to the certain zones. So, like, the the Pokemon... I can't remember, but like, the one I really remember was, like, the Pokemon who's, like, basically dresses as Santa Claus. My brother and I came here to play. I really want to go everywhere. But they say the Pokemon's huge. Will you want to see it all? Will you play with me? We should play Chase. Alright, I think Pajarisu is very fast. Kind of. He's got a big head start. Well, she was. And, <laughs> I mean, there are, there are definitely more missions that are, like, harder than this. The easiest chase is Slowpoke, because you can just dash into him in, like, a second. Alright, so we made another friend. So, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we, we could play the, the game with, um... Uh, what's his face? With pa Pachirisu. But, um, we have to play as Turtwig. I feel a big berry inside the crate. Would you break the crate and give me the big berry? Okay. Well, is this literally just going to be, like, really easy to make, to be friends with Munchlax? All I have to do is just break the crate. That is a big berry. Oh. Alright. Let me just casually, like, <laughs> shove it in your face. Yeah, it, it literally... <laughs> it was literally your, uh, like, that easy. Give me food. I am friend now. Wow. Okay, he's a big boy. Where is he? Oh, and it's Bonsai. Alright. We'll make some, um... Ah, hide and see. So yeah, we'll, um... We'll play a few more games, then we'll, we'll get some more friends. And then we'll see if we can do this minigame. So let's try for the other Pokemon. Alright. So we got to find Bonsai. Let's start. I won't hide near a rock. You totally will. Alright. Three, two... Well, how much time do we have? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Uh, oh, he's not behind that one. He said he won't be... Oh, yeah, I found him. Oi. Hi. I mean, I dashed into him. I probably should have, like, been able to... Okay. Be my friend. I wish Uda would have come play hunt and seek with you. I meant that to... Yeah, okay, we get it. <laughs> Where is Uda Wudo? Is he just coming in? Yep, he's there. There's so many Pokemon here now. I mean, it's not like 193, but it's still a fair amount. There's Turtwig. Bonsai. Uh, oh god. Where are the others? I want to find that big, like, that really big Pokemon that I saw a second ago. Tropius, I think it was called? He's come to eat berries. I'm just wondering where... Oh yeah, there he is. He's a big dude. Wow. Hi there, I'm so hungry. We bring me a big berry. You can give me one later when you return to the Meadow Zone. If you've already given one to someone else. The question is, where will I find a big berry? Oh, it's, um, Bidoof. Aww. Vettis' guy is watching the bridge. I means I can't bring my friend over. They're so strange about strangers. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I have to give, um, Bidoof the wood. But eventually. All I need to do now is, essentially, play the game. As, uh... As Turtwig and get a decent time. Although there is one. Oh, wait, hang on. Alright, if this doesn't work, then I'll play the minigame. But I just had an idea. Whoop. All the controls. Oh. Oh. It's actually kinda difficult to do this. One. No. <laughs> I also apologize about the, the really bad camera. Oh, it's Biro. I want to get this obstacle off. Maybe it's the for us, we too. Well, I mean, I can just... Ugh. 
One. No. It's actually really kind of hard to do this. One. Two. And we made it. You see the balance? Oh, well. So much for that. I just want to see if there's a big berry up top there, but I don't know if there is any. There must be something up there. Or is I can just gonna do this pretty much fine now. I say that and I fell off again. Uh I'm not good at this. I am le terrible. Uh and yeah, and done, and then walk up. Slowly. Okay. I can hear Sudo Widow. Oh, no! Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like sometimes I just kind of jerk the camera by accident. I'll give this one more go. Okay, that go doesn't count. Okay, here we go. Last go. And up. And there. And out slowly across. Slowly. 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 Slowly, 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 and then jump, and down, and... Oh, you're kidding me. Do I have to... Oh, I have to get up there again just to see what it is. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's why. He just, he just kind of... He just runs sometimes. Oh, that's really hard to see. Oh. Okay. Slowly again. But yeah, I wonder what I actually got. Is it the big berry? If it was the big berry, I have to carry it all the way over. Nearly messed it up again. Okay. And then jump over. Oh, it's a golden berry. That's literally... Okay, that's literally it. And I guess... Wait, if I talk to him again... Okay, well, I mean... I just did it, so... Tough luck. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over and I'm going to uh gonna play the game with uh Bulbasaur. Hello. He let you cross the bridge. If Turbo Grunts receives the bonus. I told you to do his best. I try to have a bonus as well as a goal, yeah, okay. Um even if they aren't good at running, they must meet a certain target. When they do they receive lots of berries as a bonus. Okay, if Venusaur saw the Pokemon the Venusaur having fun, what do you think it's okay to play attractions again? Yeah, it's so basically, yeah. So I think this, yeah, the story is Venusaur's banned all the attractions. Do you want to play the game? Yes, I do. Cool. Let's go. Same as before, except we must be Turtwig. Yes. I don't know if you like, to 100% the game, you have to play the, the game that's every Pokemon. But you basically have to beat 10... Yeah, 10 seconds, uh, 10.5 seconds. Alright, here we go. Nope, he's, he's faster. I nearly, I'm nearly dropping the remote. <laughs> I nearly dropped the remote. Well, I beat the bonus at least, so that was fine. Well, 100 berries. Alright, that's everything there. So now we just have to get across the, the bridge. The cool thing about this game is there is a lot more to this. There's, there's still like obviously more attractions to play, like loads of Pokemon you can get. And um, <clears throat> and you can get, uh, what's up? There's like other skill games you can do. Because there's hide and seek, there's chase, and then there's one where you basically just fight another Pokemon, which is quite cool. Alright, hello. So he received the bonus. Or what was during Dash? Ugh. What are you looking at? I'm not jealous at all. I never like attractions. I don't want the bone. Okay. Guess I'll let you through anyway. See ya. Well. I think he's just... Gone. Yeah, I can't... Oh no, he's there. Become friends with me. I'm gonna do better than that. I don't play it. Venus told me not to. Yep. We can be friends with the basic now. I'm good at running. I think he's, he's kind of tricky. He's trying to juke me out. Oh, actually, no, he's the fastest one so far. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's juking me. But I've nearly got him. Nearly. Come on. Got him. Oh. I love how it goes into slow motion, and it just sends them flying. All right. 
You've got me. You're so fast. No need to to Venusaur. Yep, and now he's our friend. Cool. He used to be just be a, a mere henchman. Alright. I'm going to put you see there's a, a big berry in this. Because if there is, I'm going to deliver that to the other guy. Yep, there is. Okay. So, we're going to deliver this to the other dude now. Who, I think, all the way up here. So this might take a while to walk up. I'll, I'll speed through this. <clears throat> Where is he? I swear I could hear him a second ago. Ah, there he is. Hello. That easy, I guess. Alright, now can we fight this guy? There isn't a tasty. Alright. Oh no, we can't fight him. That's a shame. I think because you can usually fight the really big Pokemon. So, uh, that's why I was curious. Well, he's, uh... Oh, okay. So you can't... Hmm... It says he's still watching the bridge. Oh, there must be another bridge up top, uh, which, which is being blocked. It's probably being blocked by Mankey. Okay, this is the. Um, so yeah, while we're here, I can I can check the. Um, I can tell you about some other stuff. So this is basically where Drift. I believe this is where Driftloon appears. Where essentially, if you pay him some berries, he can essentially take you to any area in the game you want. Ah, oh, Canopy. I just did that by complete accident. Alright, well, he's not there anymore. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'll make friends with uh, Caterpie and then we'll go talk to Mankey. Do you want to play Chase? Yes, please. This is going to end up being a really long episode, I just realised. Oh, wow, this is going to be really bad. Easy as that. Where did he go? I literally can't see him anymore. Well, there he is. Oh, he's right how slow I am. Oh, okay, he, he knows he's slow. I think Slowpoke genuinely thinks he's really fast. Oh, it's Butterfree. Okay, so we're going to talk to Mankey and see what we have to do. And if it's like anything really kind of extensive, then we're going to end the episode there. But let's see uh, Let's see what Mankey has to say. Hello. Are you good at running? Oh, oh here we go. This is battle. Okay. So this is... Um, your opponent's HP... What if your opponent's HP runs out in the time limit? Okay, so this is... Um, yeah, this is this is cool. This is, I think this is a good way to uh, to end. It's basically a Pokemon battle. Okay, here we go. Pikachu versus Mankey. Got him. We can just spam with Thunderbolt. Oh. Oh. And Thunderbolt. Got him. <laughs> yeah, that's a really easy first fight, though. So you can just spam Thunderbolt. But with other fights, it's not actually, you know... Yeah, it's not actually, like, really easy. I'll try myself on jumping around so I can win next time. But more fun next time we jump around. Yep. And that's that. And you win berries for battles as well. Oh, there's more. Hey, Chimcha! Oh, he's gone for training. So there's uh, one more fight. Where is he? Where is Chimcha? I can't find him. Maybe he's back across the other side of the bridge. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's where we go for the the last game. Um, I think I'm I think I might as well do this. Why not? Hi, Krogunk. You want to see Venusaur? The rules of the gate stay closed. Looks suspicious. I can never let someone like you through. I'm getting hungry. If you bring two hundred berries, I'll open the gate for you. Okay. Are you friends? Yes. How noble! I know that. I return one hundred and seventy. Oh, okay. I'll be off two hundred berries. There you go. Okay. So we can see Venusaur now, and I think take on his attraction. And save Chikorita. I'll be cheering for you. Secretly, of course. During a battle, you can move to the side quickly and you'll dodge. Okay. I didn't even know that. Okay. So, time to take on Venusaur. Do you want to go past the gate? Yes. We have a friend to save. So yeah, hope, yeah so I think Venusaur should be past this door. Yep. I believe this is him. Yep. There he is. 
Hello. Don't mind me. You're here. Do you want to get rid of back? He will save your friend. Listen to me. You're the one who broke the rules. I have to punish you or others may follow your lead. Then the Meadow Zone would become a terrible mess. If you want Chikorita back, you have to defeat Krogunk. You'll also have to defeat Spear in a skill game. They're the caretakers of the Meadow Zone and I trust them. Beat them and I'll listen to you. Okay. Well, we have to beat one of them. Oh, we have to beat Krogunk in a fight. Okay, so we can... Okay, we'll do that and then we'll, um, we'll head out. Because I think it's a... We're already like half an hour into the episode. It is like... <laughs> This this could go on for another like few minutes, so I'm gonna end it here after one more fight. Yeah, I have to, we have to fight Krogunk, Krogunk and then we'll be done. Venusaur wants me to bow you. You have no choice. Every the villain is gonna claw, wouldn't you say? All right, let's do it. Let's fight. And then we have to fight Spiro. Right, we're not gonna use Thunderbolt. We're gonna be we're gonna go charging it. Oh god! If the camera would work properly. There's a dash in. There we go. He gets rebounded off the wall. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, this fight was pretty easy as well. But like I said, later on, um, <laughs> later on in the game, the they get um, they get really hard. So it's not like it's not this easy for the entire game. Oh, it's Cipher. Big boy Cipher. All right. And, uh, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. Uh, so yeah, this game... I think it's pretty relaxing. Like, I think it's it's definitely not for everybody. But I think it's a game that, you know... It's a game that I could definitely, like, see myself playing when I'm, like, relaxing or need to take some time out. It's basically, it's a very relaxing and chill game, and I love it. So yeah, um... I would recommend this game to you if, like, you like relaxing, essentially. Uh, and if you just want a, a really nice, peaceful game to just kind of play for a little bit, then I think you should play this game by all means. So yeah, um, that's going to do it for this episode of Retro Showcase. Next week we'll play a completely different Pokemon game. Which game that is, I'm not sure. I also see Magikarp. Maybe next time we, um, we play this game we'll be able to find a way to talk to Magikarp. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for Retro Showcase. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks again for all the support on my most recent videos. We're nearly at 50 subscribers at time of recording, and we're just over 3,000 total views for the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, we're nearly at 500 views as well for um, for my Mario Kart Wii CTGP October 2019 update. So let's see if we can hit 500 views and beyond that. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. I've been Akteshikawa, and I'll see you guys soon. From me and Pikachu... There he is. Peace.